Welcome to Charting. In this guide, let's start by understanding what functional filters are. I'm going to be clicking on the funnel icon to add a functional filter. So currently we have two different functional filters. <coughs> the first one is the minimum and the next one is the maximum. As the name suggests, these calculate the minimum or the maximum over the duration that you specify. So as soon as you select a maximum filter, you will notice that the default duration is for 20 days and you want to calculate the maximum value for the past 20 days for the attribute of open. So let's assume I wanted to know the maximum of the past 20 days for the highest. So this would calculate the highest value among the latest 20 candles on a daily chart because I've specified this as a latest. Similarly, if I wanted to calculate the maximum value over a period of one year. So normally it's referred to as 252 trading days within a year. So now this would calculate the maximum value of high on a daily chart. So assume you have 252 candles that are present and you are referring to the highest value maximum value for the high of a given stock. So I'm going to be deleting this. Let's go on to add a practical scan wherein we want to search for stocks that are trading at its 52 week high. So I'm going to delete this filter. I'm going to again select max. I'm going to change it to a weekly basis because I want the max function to run on a weekly chart. You can run it on a daily chart as well specifying latest. In that case, you need to specify the duration as 252 but it's simpler using a weekly scan wherein we know in a year there are 52 weeks so we'll directly refer to those 52 weeks here so start by selecting weekly here change the first parameter which is duration to the max function to 52 so this refers to the 52 candles on a weekly chart and what is the attribute within a candle that we'll be referring to is the high so now this would get you the maximum value of a high over a 52 week period candle chart. We want to ensure that the maximum high equals the current high of a stock. So this basically means is that we are searching for stocks wherein the weekly high matches with the current high that the stock made today on a daily chart. Simply after doing this, simply run the scan and this will give you all of the stocks that are trading at their 52 week high. Similarly, if you wanted to know stocks that are trading at the 52 week low, simply change it to minimum. 52 would remain the same because we want to calculate the minimum over a period of 52 days and the attribute that we will be referring to is the low and again we will need to change the attribute here to low as well. So now it refers to a weekly scan wherein we are validating the latest low of a stock on a daily chart equals the minimum value of low over the past 52 weeks. You will notice the second parameter, the second value that is passed to a minimum function can either be a stock attribute or it can be an indicator as well. So we can have calculate the minimum value, maximum value of a simple moving average over a period of n number of days and this can be customized as well and so forth. So this gives you a lot of flexibility in figuring out how do you find out the maximum value for an RSI or for a simple moving average over a period of n number of days, n number of weeks or n number of months. If I wanted to do this for a monthly basis, this would simplify our scanner further. So if I wanted to scan for stocks that are trading at its 52 week high, so I'm going to reset this to the maximum value this would be high and this corresponds to high and well let's assume if i wanted to do the same thing using a monthly chart or using a monthly range i'll simply change this to a monthly basis and now i'll be referring to 12 months which form a year and we are done so this would end up get, giving you the same results that you could do on a weekly chart using 52 weeks or on a monthly chart with 12 number of months or it can even be done on a daily chart wherein you are specifying the max function with 252 days because a single trading day single trading year has approximately 252 number of trading days so hope this gives you a good insight about what functional filters are and how powerful they can be
to filter specific stocks meeting specific technical requirements thank you